Welcome back to MRZ Recapped. Today, I am going to explain a biographical romantic drama film from 2015, The Danish Girl. Spoilers ahead, watch. And don't forget to prepare tissues. The story begins in mid-1926 in Copenhagen, Denmark. A husband and wife, Gerda Wegener and Einar Wegener who work as photography artists carry out daily routines such as photo exhibitions, paintings, etc. As usual Einar went to the gallery and Gerda worked with her painting. One morning, Gerda had to go to an art gallery in the city to show her work so that it could be exhibited at an art exhibition, but the gallery owner said that her paintings were monotonous, he suggested to Gerda to change her painting style so it wouldn't be boring, of course this made Gerda annoyed and angry. Gerda asked her husband, who is a famous landscape photo artist named Einar Wegener, to be a female model, because the previous female model, Ulla Paulsen came late to their apartment for a photo shoot and posed in a painting which she painted. Since then, he started to feel something strange and turbulent inside him. But not long after, Ulla came to their apartment and was a little surprised when she saw Einar, posing like a woman complete with her clothes even though she was only holding it. Then Ulla jokingly gave Einar a new name, Lily because she was carrying a bouquet of lilies. One night they went to a bar with Ulla, where they shared stories about each other's experiences including when Einar first met Gerda. Einar's disguise seems to stick with his identity for life, Einar secretly wears his Gerda's nightgown. At first Gerda was so shocked then she strangely lets it go and they assume that it is a sexual fantasy. Gerda also wondered what really happened to her husband, she couldn't sleep and tried to paint something until she woke her husband. Gerda is going to have coffee with Ulla. She takes her husband along but at first Einar refuses then Gerda has a pretty crazy idea, where she asks Einar to wear a women's dress. Gerda started to dress her husband, Einar looked so absorbed and enjoyed it. Gerda painted her husband in women's makeup, they really enjoyed it and were immersed in it. This is also growing, which at first was only temporary but then became permanent and irreversible to abandon his identity as Einar. When they arrived at the party, Ulla was surprised to see Einar's appearance changed 180 degrees, instead of mocking her, Ulla was even impressed by the female style appearance of Einar, they also enjoyed the party together. The figure of Lily in his feminist condition attracted a lot of the men, especially Henrik Sandal, of course Henrik didn't realize that Lily was a man. He took Lily to get out of the party crowd, they chatted until it was late and making out to each other, at the same time Gerda who was looking for her husband caught when Lily and Henrik were kissing but suddenly Einar had a nosebleed and they rushed to leave the party. The next morning, Gerda asked her husband not to be Lily anymore, but it seems Einar started to feel the change after she became Lily. Gerda insisted on stopping all that. Their relationship was strained, Einar started to have a headache almost every day. He went to an art gallery where there were a lot of women's clothes there, her feminism spirit began to stir, he then looked in the mirror while looking at every curve of her body made him return to being Lily again. Meanwhile Gerda was waiting for him in the apartment, Einar came in and hugged her while looking at the painting of himself that had been transformed into Lily with a nude pose. Gerda finally took Lily's painting to the art gallery where it had been refused to be exhibited, the gallery owner was impressed and said that all the paintings could be sold. Lily goes to meet Hendrik, here it is revealed that Einar or Lily had a special relationship with Hendrik long before Einar married Gerda, Hendrik advised Lily to tell Gerda the truth about it they also had an affair but Lily was suddenly confused and left after Hendrik kissed and called him with Einar. When Gerda came home from the art gallery, she was surprised to see her husband back again wearing women's clothes then Einar said that he had met Hendrik again. Gerda asked him if he loved him, Einar said no, only Gerda was the one he loved. Einar explained only when he became Lily that he was in contact with Hendrik and he also said that there was no other man. Finally everything was revealed regarding Einar's past that he was gay. When he was a child he was kissed by Hans, then his father caught and beat him. Einar was so sorry and apologized to Gerda, suddenly Einar swayed and fell to the floor. Over time, Einar felt awkward to be a man. He began to seek help by consulting a psychologist, but nothing until radiation methods were used to restore his manhood. After finishing therapy, the doctor asked how he was, he said that they had hurt Lily. This confused the doctor and told Gerda that her husband was mentally ill. Gerda met with the owner of the art gallery, she said that Lily's paintings had been sold. Gerda got an invitation to attend a big art show in Paris, France. Gerda went to Paris and took Einar with her. Lily's painting was very well liked and in the spotlight, while Einar could only stare at her painting. One day Gerda asked Einar to sit down and be a model for her painting but Einar refused because he was not focused, Gerda persuaded her but in vain, she felt that the figure of Einar Wegener known as her husband had changed. 
While in Paris, Einar went to an adult club where women are naked. Instead of enjoying the beauty of the woman's body, he even touches his own body as if he were that woman. Meanwhile Gerda met Einar's childhood friend named Hans Axgiel. Gerda told about Einar's behavior which has now changed 180 degrees and Hans is the right person to accompany her at this time. Apparently Gerda had devised a plan to bring Einar and Hans together, hearing that Einar looked happy and blushed, Gerda took Hans to her apartment and met Einar there. But how shocked Gerda was when she saw Einar was sitting on the sofa complete with women's clothes and became Lily Wegener. Meanwhile Gerda introduced her to Einar's identity as Lily, Gerda told Hans that Lily was Einar's cousin. Hans intends to help Einar but Gerda tells him to go home. Gerda and Lily spend time together like two best friends, sometimes they change clothes even though deep inside Gerda's heart she feels depressed and sad. In her sadness and disappointment, Gerda walked out from her painting exhibition, she sat alone in the rain. When she got home, Lily had already prepared a small dinner to celebrate, but Gerda asked Lily to change into her husband Einar whom she had known for a long time. Unfortunately, Lily didn't want to and insisted on staying as Lily, this made Gerda even more depressed. Einar tries to return to being the figure that Gerda wants as her husband, apparently Einar's soul has turned into a feminine one, even though she dresses like a man but her masculine nature is inherent. Einar said that he didn't know for how long he could endure all of it. One day Gerda talked to Ulla about her problems then Ulla gave some advice that she must take Einar to the hospital for treatment. Einar went to the library to look for a book that might find answers to his problems. When he came home, he was confronted by two men who made fun of him because Einar was mocked. He hit one of them but the male friend hit Einar back until they finally ganged up on him. Einar got battered. Instead of going back to his apartment, Einar went to Hans' house. Hans also cleaned and treated Einar's wounds, that's where Einar told what really happened to Hans. Hans advised him to go visit a doctor. Einar finally went to visit the doctor, he was finally declared a homosexual. Einar secretly saw a copy of the prescription for himself and it was written that Einar had a mental disorder. Knowing this, Einar was so shocked, he immediately ran away through the window because they would immediately treat Einar at the asylum. Einar felt more depressed than asked Gerda if he had gone mad. Gerda said that he's not crazy and she will help him as much as possible to get him back to normal again. For the last time Einar and Gerda went to visit another doctor, namely Dr. Kurt Warnekros. The doctor asked what problems Einar was facing, Einar said that he believed, from the inside he was a woman who was trapped in a man's body. Gerda also said yes and agreed. Dr. Kurt Warnekros put forward a very controversial suggestion, namely a sex change operation from male to female, where this operation consists of two parts of the procedure. The first is to remove Lily's external genital organs first by cutting her male genitals after recovering then the procedure is carried out the second is to form the vagina. But before that Dr. Kurt warned him that this was a very dangerous and high-risk operation and that no one had ever done it before, Einar was the first to do it. Einar also agreed and then he traveled to Germany to start all the procedures for the sex change operation but unfortunately Einar did not allow Goethe to accompany him. Einar reasoned that he was not the Einar that Goethe used to know anymore or the whole Einar who was loved completely by Goethe. Goethe finally let go of her husband Einar with a heavy heart and sadness. Einar or Lily began to carry out sex change surgery procedures, she changed her name to Lily Elba. In the meantime Gerda keeps painting on her loneliness day. Einar had a chat with a woman who was pregnant then she asked him. Will you be pregnant too? Einar just kept silent because it was something impossible for him. The day that Einar had been waiting for has come, he began to undergo the operation. Gerda came to visit him but unfortunately because of various things that happened to him especially the psychological side, Lily was in pain until the doctor had to give her a high dose of sedatives, due to the operation she had to endure excruciating pain. After Lily recovered, she and Gerda returned to Denmark. They had a normal day as usual. But this time Gerda considered Einar as Lily who was not her husband anymore, she even prepared medicine that Lily had to continue to take during her recovery, how sincere and kind Gerda. To fill the void, Lily works in a perfume shop as a saleswoman, and she looks so happy with her new life. One day Lily accidentally met Hendrik again, they chatted and Hendrik was of course surprised by Lily's new identity, he even asked if Lily had become a real woman. Gerda caught Lily walking with Hendrik, but Lily explained to Gerda that Hendrik was gay and it was impossible to like him who had turned into a woman. Then Lily decided to return to Dresden and complete the second or final stage of surgery, Gerda advised not to go because of her condition. Lily who is not yet stable but Lily still insists on going. Lily and Gerda went to Dresden to finish the second operation, when he got there Dr. Warnekro said that this would be the hardest and toughest thing ever, 
Gerda cheers him that the operation will be successful even though deep inside her heart is very worried for Lily. Due to various infections and complications to her genital surgery, it looks like the second operation failed and hurt Lily a lot. Lily finally died. She died near Gerda while in the park, Gerda tried to wake her up but in vain. Gerda and Hans visit the place where Einar or Lily painted the landscape on his painting as well as his grave. At the end of the story, it is stated that the Lily Elba diary became a popular biographical book that broke transgender people. The book entitled Man into Woman published in 1933 became an inspiration for transgender people all over the world until now, while Gerda continued to paint portraits of Lily until the end of her life. That's the story of the The Danish Girl film, hope you guys are entertained, and don't forget to give us a like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.